Hello everyone, Adam Repos Vox here, and I'm a little congested. This is kind of an impromptu recording session early in the morning here. I'm editing a video as to why Linux is easier than Windows, and I needed some graphic slides for it. And instead of having to, con you know, to completely fabricate the B-roll and graphics for this video in Photoshop, I decided to take a little bit of an easier route that would still be visually appealing and acceptable. And I want to pose this as an editing tip for you guys. If you are not talented in the graphical arts of the photoshops to make your own graphics and slides and things like that, or you simply don't have time to all the time, you can use something like, well, if I pull it up properly here, you can use something like Google Slides or even uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, although it's a little more complicated to get a high resolution export out of PowerPoint, or WPS Office or LibreOffice to create your graphic slides in you know, with pre-baked tools that are easy to use with Google Slides. So you just make a new Google Slides file, and then there are a plethora of themes. There's some built in from Google Drive itself. You can import custom themes. You can go online and find other themes, but you find one that you like that you think matches your video. For example, this one may or may not actually kind of go for a video that I'm gonna be working on soon. So we'll call this, I don't, uh, the, uh, slide tutorial easy graphics for free okay so we have a slide it took two seconds to make i didn't have to sit there and photoshop any of this it's pre-made and like i said you have unlimited graphics options and then all you have to do is go to file and this is the kicker if you download a png file i'll go ahead and do that here i'll just download it to the slides folder i was working in if you go into the PNG file, the file is only 960 by 540 resolution. That is tiny. It's not even 720p. So on any like standard, actually, I'll just drag it into my video here. Any standard timeline like 1080p or anything, it's not going to be very large. And on 4K, it's tiny. So then by time you maximize it up, you can't really see it here, but it gets pretty blurry. I've done other videos where I've used slides before and did not know about this other export option and it gets blurry and pixelated. So the alternative is you go to file, download as, and do scalable vector graphics. Now this is a SVG file that won't even open in image previews. It won't open in your, you know, photo viewer. For me, it's set to open in Internet Explorer of all things. Actually, it opens in Chrome. Okay. And you can't import it into Premiere, which, or your video editor, most likely. It will tell you no, because it's a very complicated format. But Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and GIMP all will support this. So instead of opening it in your video editor you make a new photoshop or whatever file with the resolution that your video is so 1920 by 1080 1280 by 720 or in my case 3840 by 2160 and then you drag in the svg file and simply just make it big enough to fit your you know screen hold shift to scale it without stretching it because for whatever reason there's a little transparent border there and then boom you save it as a Photoshop file, import it into your video. I'll just call this one test. Go over here to my video program, import test.psd, and drag it on. And boom, we have a very gorgeous looking 4K image that I didn't have to design myself. All made for free, all easily importable and usable thanks to just using a slide based program. Again, Photoshop, or not Photoshop, <laughs> PowerPoint, Google Slides, LibreOffice, WPS Office, what have you. I use Google Slides. So just a quick editing tip about that wanted to share with you guys. It's something that I'm going to be relying on heavily when I don't have a lot of time or energy, creative energies to make some graphics. Just wanted to share it with you. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos and editing tips, and I will see you next time.